all you been loca? Uh, what's up guys, I'm back. <laughs> Yesterday I posted my uh, tummy tuck before and after video, which was just me and bra and panty showing you literally everything before and everything after. And I said if you guys had questions, drop them in that video. I would get to the nitty and the gritty in this video. Again, all of my recovery vlogs, meaning everything from like surgery day and beyond, that's all on my vlog channel. They've already been posted. You can go view those if you want. They're very graphic. There's a lot of bruising. There's a lot of... It's graphic. So if you want to watch it, by all means, go and see that. And you will see what it's like to recover. A lot of the questions were about the recovery, how much pain there was. Um, you can see in like real time as it was going <laughs> what the recovery was like. So by all means, go view those. If you're just interested in my before and afters, by all means, click out of this video and go to my previous video where I show you just me in just bra and panties, like I said the whole time. And if you're interested to see what I'm gonna look like before and after in certain outfits, you can stick around in this video because I'm gonna put that at the end. So, um, spoiler alert, I look a lot different and I don't really like the outfits anymore. <laughs> so, I gotta dress a little bit different for this body, but let's go ahead and just dive into the actual questions. Oh, and before I do that though, I do wanna take a second to just thank the people that are being super, um, receptive and uh, just positive. Let me say that because a lot of, you know, the, you're gonna get both sides of it when you post things, um, anything, when you post anything, but when you post something like this, you get a lot of different versions of people and I just wanna say like with my whole heart, I'm genuinely super thankful for the people that are choosing to be positive and people that are choosing to go out of their way to leave a comment that is not only positive but is thankful because I gotta tell you guys, once I got the, the tummy tuck down and I also got back and arm lipo, I considered, I didn't consider it because I always knew I was gonna show this, but there was a, there were moments where I felt like, God, I wish I could just keep this to myself. I wish I could just have some part of me to myself. I wish I didn't feel obligated to show um, my body and this whole journey and everything. Uh, but I, I, I did feel that because when I was looking for people to see their journeys and stuff, I just felt like there was such a limited amount of content. And I know that having the platform that I do, I'm gonna have a bigger reach than some of the other people that have posted, you know, their journeys with their plus size tummy tucks and stuff. Um, so I just felt, I felt like I was, I, I owed this to the people that were looking for it and uh, the people that support me. So that's what I, that's why I ultimately chose to share it. So let me just say again, I really appreciate the people that are choosing to be positive because some of y'all need Jesus. I need Jesus too though, so you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna go down the list and we're gonna do rapid fire, okay? Will you have any scar laser treatments or anything done? I will not, I tend to not scar very badly. Um, if you wanna see the incision, like I said, check that last video, but my body tends to heal very well from scarring and stuff. That being said, even if it stayed exactly how it is today, I wouldn't have a problem with it. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. I don't plan on doing anything special. I tried the scar therapy patches. They didn't work for me. They caused blisters and stuff, so I chose to just before I go using those and um, I'm just gonna do you know regular stuff maybe some lotions or creams or something but I don't have any wild expectations and again I'm perfectly happy for it to literally say exactly how it is right now it doesn't bother me one bit oh I also got like 10,000 questions about the belly button um, some of y'all were just genuinely curious some of y'all were just genuinely hating some of y'all were just you know on the fence you don't know some of you just don't know how to approach a subject um, and I hope you have a little bit more finesse in your actual like real life because some of you were not trying to be mean and hurt my feelings but <laughs> some of y'all were achieving it anyway <laughs> anyway uh, as far as my belly button goes in my family we typically have a really high belly button it's I wish my brother was home on his lunch break right now maybe he will be right as I film because he could come over and show you how high this man's belly button is and I have roasted him my whole life because of it and then oh uh -huh, the tables have turned. So my belly button is higher. Part of that is the fact that I have a very short torso. I don't know if you guys can tell, um, it used to look longer but it's because I had so much extra belly. Uh, it's a short torso, I would rather it be higher than be so close to my cooch because of how I dress my body. So um, if you want your belly button to be lower, by all means discuss that with your surgeon. I have an actual picture of my stomach lifted up where you can see where the belly button is attached to my abdominal wall and it is high. It's just how it looks. It's just where it is. It's my natural belly button. I'm totally fine with it. I totally understand if you hate it, you think it's horrible, I'm botched, you hate me, yada, 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 yada. Save it, I'll need it. If you, though, are thinking about this and that is a big concern for you, absolutely talk to your surgeon about that 
It is not something that you can't handle. I swear on everything I told these children not to vacuum right now. Now, as for the people that were asking, will it relax and will it widen a little bit? Um, it will most likely, but if I have any kind of issue with it, the doctor, my surgeon, Dr. Repta, he's in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, he said I could just pop into the office. Of course, I'm in Illinois. So popping in is not the easiest thing to do, but if I'm in the area or if I feel like going out there or whatever, it's something he can actually alter in office. It doesn't require me being put to sleep again. It doesn't require anything like that. It doesn't require more money. It's something that he can alter for me um, if I feel like I need it. He said, you can always make it bigger and whatnot. He said, it's a lot harder to, you know, make it smaller and whatever. So <laughs> I'm also still healing, guys. I'm only like eight weeks out. So just give it time. Give it time. I appreciate those of you that are choosing not to be rude about it. Like I said, really appreciating you a lot. How long does surgery take? I think I went into surgery at 7 a.m. and I came out, I wanna say at like three, don't quote me on that, it might have been one. It wasn't that, that, that long. So um, I wasn't under that long and then I stayed the night in the sanctuary that first night. So the sanctuary is like an apartment that he has basically set up so that after you get a tummy tuck, you get a one night stay in the sanctuary where they like order you food and stuff. I <laughs> did not have food, y'all. We'll get into that. But then you also have 24 hour nurse care up until 7 a.m. the next day, which is when you would then get picked up by whoever it is that's picking you up. And you would be released, assuming everything went well. Um, and then you would go home, which I went to a rental. And from there, you would begin, you know, your recovery process at home without the doctor, nurse, and all that. And then I had some people asking about uh, muscles, muscle repair. Did he cut muscles? Did he take away muscles? So what's included in the tummy tuck is lipo to the flanks, which is like the sides, right? And then muscle repair if needed. And lipo to the mons pubis, right? So the pubic area. And then obviously the actual tummy tuck where, you know, he's cutting the tissue, pulling it down and sewing it back together, right? That's what's included in the price of the tummy tuck. And so with my tummy tuck, when I woke up, we discussed what had happened, what he did. And he actually did not do any muscle repair for me. He told me I didn't need any muscle repair. He said that he even had them paralyze me to completely let my body relax. And he still said I needed no muscle repair. This is not like crazy or anything like that. It's not the most common, but it's not super uncommon either. So um, I did not get muscle repair. And some of you asked, well, does he give you a discount if he doesn't do muscle repair? No, <laughs> just like if he went in and saw that you had a hernia, he's gonna fix it, you know what I mean? And he's not gonna charge you more when you wake up. Like it's already paid for by the time you go to sleep. What happens, happens. I didn't get muscle repair, I did get the lipo to the flanks and then I did get the lipo to the mons pubis which was <laughs> very painful. <laughs> and, um, and then obviously I got the tummy tuck which included like the tissue removal. What was the cost? Of course I have lots of questions about the cost. So let me preface this by saying that if this is something that you're thinking about doing, I'm in no way encouraging you or discouraging you from doing it. I mean that's kind of always in the message here like, Live your life how you want to live it and don't let how you look stop you. You know what I mean? And don't let what other people think stop you and don't let people disrespect you for living how you want to live, okay? So with all that being said, you could probably find a surgeon in your general area if you're not in Arizona. Again, I'm not in Arizona. And um, you know, maybe they'd be more, maybe they'd be less, right? He is on the higher end, but he's also so damn good at plus size tummy tucks, okay? So his cost was 23,000 for the tummy tuck. And then I got the arm lipo, which I believe was an additional eight or seven. And then the back lipo I tacked on after that, which was an additional four. And then the additional cost was for the anesthesia in the operating room. And that was right around like, 9,000 I think so the total ended up being with like a little bit of discounts that they give you for you know doing multiple things uh, The total ended up being somewhere around 44,000 I think so they do offer different payment plans and different stuff like that that you can you know You can go through someone and it's it's just like anything else <laughs> You can go through someone have it financed and then make payments and stuff like that um, That's not what I did. I already had saved the money for it by the time I decided to do it so um, it's not the route I took so I can't give you too much information on that, but that's how it works, you pay for it in full, 
before you get it done. And then if you're doing payment plans, obviously you pay me that afterwards. You're not paying it to the doctor's office, you're paying it to whoever you are, you know, care credit, etc. You're paying it to someone else. Um, why did I go with him? I did not seek out this doctor. I did not seek him out. Um, I wasn't looking for a surgeon to do a plus size tummy tuck. I came across him at some point a couple of years ago and I just kind of was like, oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. And that was pretty much it. I would occasionally look at his Instagram. I didn't even follow him or anything. Um, I would just occasionally look at it and be like, oh snap, he's out here doing this thing. He's, look at him, look at him. And um, then one day I saw a girl that he had posted that he had operated on and I saw her profile and um, I thought her results were so good and I stumbled upon one of her posts that talked about her having back issues and stuff like that and how she felt like it had really helped to alleviate some of the pain that she was having and the pain she was having was similar to mine. And so that was not the reason I put into my brain that there was a possibility that I could go and get a plus size tummy tuck if I want. That is simply the trigger that made me actually call and do a consultation. I mean, that like that day when I saw that, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna call this doctor's office. I'm gonna see what they're talking about. I'm gonna at least get some information. So I called, you give them $250, and that sets your consultation day, right? So you have to pay the 250 for the consultation. And if you choose to go with him, they'll attack that onto your surgery. And um, it's a credit, you know what I mean? So you don't lose the money if you choose to go with them. And my consultation date was like three months after I made the initial phone call because of how booked out he was. So I think I called in September and my consultation wasn't until the end of January. So then I called um, after sending photos and all of that. I called, I spoke to him and I really just liked, I like him a lot. I like, I like the way he talks. I like the way he treats me. Um, you know, I like the way he treats his patients, I should say. And I like the office. I like the girls working in the office. I like everyone that I ran into. Like, I, the whole experience has been very much a positive one. So that's what kind of pushed me to go with him. So after the consultation in January, I got the numbers. I got all of that. I got, you know, whatever. And I talked about it with um, a couple of people in my life. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I called to verify that I wanted to do it. You put down $25. $500 and that's what locks in like your surgery date so then my date was locked in for the end of April which was basically the next that was like when I could get it done so that was another three months so from from calling for a consultation to actual surgery date was over six months but that's how I ended up with him again I wasn't seeking a surgeon to do this I just I saw his work I really liked it I said if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go to someone that I really like um, so that's kind of how that happened so I didn't get it done because I thought it would solve my back problem that's what pushed me to actually make the call and get the, the you know the ball rolling basically but I got it done because I wanted to get it done there's nothing you know what I mean like you don't need some special reason I got it done because I wanted to get it done and so I did it and I got the back and arms done to match the tummy the tummy was really the biggest thing that I was like oh snap like maybe yeah why don't I just take this off like I don't need it <laughs> and I got the time the money and the people supporting me in my life to allow me to do this in my life so I'm gonna do it and I did it and I'm happy I did <laughs> and then I have questions about people helping you recover so with my experience those of you that watch the vlogs you know that my mom is a nurse and so I 100% needed to have my mom there and she wanted to be there she wanted to be there i wanted her to be there it was kismet okay i didn't want her to be bored for two weeks while we were sitting in arizona and i'm recovering so i brought her husband and with bringing her husband meant that i needed to bring the kids because there wasn't going to be anyone that could be home because of the hours that lewis is working he wasn't going to be able to take care of the kids so um I didn't want to call on favors from five different people, so I just brought them all with me. So that did add into the cost of the surgery, essentially, because I had to pay for it in Airbnb. I had to pay for all their tickets, and I had to, you know, just pay to be there, basically. So that was an additional cost. I'm not going to give you the cost of all that, necessarily, because it, it's going to differ for everybody. But if you care to see the rental I got, I did post it in my vlog channel. It had great recliners. It was a great recovery house. So highly recommend if you're interested. Um, it was a little bit on the higher side though, like I said, because it was, you know, we were housing five people instead of just like one or two. Some people asked about relinquishing control afterwards and um, I have a very controlling personality <laughs> and um, I thought it was gonna be really, really, really hard. Girl, no, because I, could, I just couldn't do, I couldn't do things for myself 
and um, I had a hard time. So let's talk about the actual surgery day, right? So I historically have not reacted well to anesthesia, not in the sense that I can't wake up or there's something you know deadly happening to me, but in the sense that I get very, very sick. So as expected, um, they already knew this about me and they had upped my prescriptions and stuff like that. Um, but I woke up and I was sick. <laughs> I was very, very nauseous. And um, basically the first 24 hours, I spent a lot of that time either asleep, throwing up, or basically fainting, okay? So um, I was struggling in that way. It wasn't anything that was like too concerning. It was just my body's reaction to anesthesia. My whole family reacts poorly to anesthesia. It just kind of is what it is. And it took a few days for that to go away. So by the time I went home to the rental, I was still uh, definitely needing help. Someone was right next to me to walk me to the bathroom because there was still a chance that I was gonna pass out. Um, that did go away after a couple of days and I went off the pain meds after, I don't know, like two days. I went off the Tylenol and Motrin and all that like, I don't know, two weeks maybe later. Um, the pain is not unbearable by any means. And it just, it's all very uncomfortable. That's what it is. There's a lot of swelling. It's very uncomfortable. Um, it's, it's, the lipo is what's uncomfortable. Pain wise, the tummy tuck is not, it's really nothing compared, <laughs> compared to the lipo. The tummy tuck was nada, okay? So I could do that 10 times over. No problem. Sign me up. I could do it a million times again. It's nothing, but I mean, the hardest part was like the cooch because you know it hurt. It was red. It was angry. It was bruised. It was mad. It was it was angry. It was angry. My lipo is what hurt the most. Liposuction is extremely aggressive. I don't know if you guys have ever watched them jamming that cannula in the bot. It's it's it's, it's it hurts right when you wake up. It's violent. Okay, um, and he did nine liters of it on my body, which is a large amount. Okay, you hear the five liters being tossed around a lot. That's not like a law. <laughs> you have to do five liters and nothing else. Um, we talked about it before. We, you know, I even went under. He told me he thought I would be getting probably eight or nine liters taken out, and he was right. So he was spot on. It was essentially about three pounds from each arm, and then the other 13, 14 pounds or whatever was from my flanks, which is on the side here, and then my back. Um, so I think he did a really good job. I think but I'm extremely impressed by the way that my back looks like I'm impressed because if you see my before and afters I'm girl. I'm impressed. Okay, um, and then I, I've had questions about why is the top part of the belly? I'll stand up for this just to show you why is this left bigger someone said oh, I always see it's left bigger on people I'm all compressed up right now. Okay, um, but they said why is this part like not lipoed as much and it's because all your organs are right underneath here right so he's not going to be super duper aggressive right in this area if you want this to be super flat you're going to have to lose uh weight overall for that to be much flatter uh, it did take me a few days to kind of get used to it once i got home i was like mm, that's interesting but then i started looking at like skinny people and i was like oh the top of their chest where their ribs are that does stick out more than their belly. Not everybody, but enough. I was looking at people around me, I was like, oh, oh, okay, I just never noticed this. Okay, this is fine, I'm fine. All is well. Oh, and as far as the tissue, I told you guys before, but it was, he said it was about nine pounds. I have photos of it, um, but I'm just not gonna share it because I don't think it's helpful to anybody to see my flesh in a bowl. It's fucking weird. Some of y'all make weird videos about me and stuff like that, so I don't, I feel like I don't wanna give you that. <laughs> You don't need it. A lot of people asking me, or are you gonna change your diet, or are you gonna change your exercise routine, or are you gonna, you know, are you gonna change your life now that you've got this weight loss surgery? And I'm like, it's not weight loss surgery, guys. Um, it has nothing to do with weight loss. Don't go into it because you wanna, like, be losing weight. <laughs> like, sure, there's gonna be a physical amount of your flesh being removed, uh, but it's not a weight loss surgery by any means. I will say, however, interesting enough, which he did mention this, but um, afterwards, everything is so tight and you swell so much that you simply cannot eat what you could prior, at least in my case. I will serve myself a regular size serving, like what I would have done three months ago before surgery. And now I can maybe eat like 80% of it before I start to really feel very full and I'm like, get it away from me, I'm gonna throw up if I eat another bite. Like, so it has changed my body in that way, but that's just like a physical fullness, right? It's a restriction that I'm feeling. It's not my actual stomach, it's just my abdomen overall. So I hope you understand the distinction there, but um, I just, I also think it's kind of bold of people to assume, what do I eat now? 
what's my diet now? What's my, what, what's my exercise right now? You don't know, y'all are tripping. <laughs> you don't know. Um, so no, I don't have plans to do anything specific. Um, I've actually made a vow in my big old age that I'm finally, I'm done. I'm done with diets. I'm not done with caring about what I eat and monitoring what I have and making good choices, if, you know, in my opinion. Um, but I'm done with diets, period. I'm over it. It took me this many years to get to this point and I'm done. <laughs> so, yay! I had quite a few, so I'll just jumble them together. I've had people asking kind of what like my boyfriend's reactions were and my kids and how I like broached the subject with my kids. With my boyfriend, we're two fully grown autonomous adults. It's not like he was, you know what I'm saying? Like he, I, I guess you guys don't know us, so um, he's fine. Everything's good. There's nothing juicy to say. So um, with my kids, I've had a lot of people saying like, well, how did you approach this? Well, how did you explain this to them? There's nothing to explain. They're very much my children. I am their mother. Um, I don't need to explain my actions in that way. I gave them information in little drops, just the way I do with anything heavy. Um, I give them information in palatable little spoonfuls. I, I don't shove everything down their throat at once. I give them a little taste and it's how I deliver any kind of news to my kids. It's just how I do it. So I told them the parts that were gonna affect them. Hey, we're gonna go to Arizona. Hey, grandma and grandpa are gonna be the ones that fly you out there. Um, you know, you're gonna be out there for two weeks. Your science project needs to be done before you leave. Um, you know, mom's gonna go get a procedure done and we're gonna be out there recovering. And then when we come back home, you know, it's gonna be expected that you, you, you know, do a little bit more than you normally do because I can't pick up your slack and my own and it was just little stuff like that it was just it, it wasn't anything huge it wasn't like i'm gonna die oh my god please give me a hug before you know what i'm saying like i, I didn't go into it like that it's just not me <laughs> it's just not the relationship i have with my kids either so i would say if you're trying to deliver this news to a child and you feel the need to explain yourself it, do it in palatable little doses versus dropping these bombs and being like mom is gonna go and get a surgery and and i might die on that table and they're gonna cut off a huge like dog a week out not even a week out three days later whatever i was showing my kids the pictures of me on the operating table now that i look like a splashcock chicken and i was dying laughing okay like we got a good relationship so um that's all I have to say about that. Like, give them, give it to people in little doses if you need to. Um, just don't scare anybody. Unless you're scared, then just don't give it to nobody, girl. Work on that first. And if you're scared, think about why you're scared. <laughs> um, and try to work on that because it's, you know, I would hate to go into this kind of procedure scared. I wasn't scared at all. I wasn't nervous at all. The doctor walked in that morning and he marked me all up and he's like, are you feeling nervous? And I was like, literally, I can't wait for this nap I'm about to take. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the anesthesia? <laughs> oh, someone did ask what are the other costs that you should be thinking about um, with the surgery beyond what you're giving the doctor? And I would say obviously if you have to stay out there, you have room and board essentially. Um, but in addition to that, the cost of compression garments. So I've tried a million different garments at this point. I have like my, you know, seven or eight that I like to wear on my torso and you know butt back and then the other ones that I wear on my arm you can see I have sleeves on right now um take that into account because it does add up and I would hate to only have like two pairs of sleeves or something I would be doing laundry constantly also some cover my boobs some don't some let me wear bra some don't some go far down my back some don't some go far down my arm some don't some are black some are nude. Like, I, I have a lot of different ones. Some open at the cooch like a onesie. Some don't. Some cover my legs. Some don't. <laughs> so, I have a lot of different ones, but I easily spent like a grand probably on all of these compression garments. So, um, I would factor in at least a little bit extra for garments post-surgery. Yes, they send you home with some. You're going to want your own though. A lot of people are asking, do you have to be a certain size or et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Dr. Repta does not have like a BMI requirement. That being said, there are questionnaires and stuff um, and that dictates what kind of testing you may or may not need to do before having surgery and whether or not you're going to be a good candidate for surgery. And then you can actually talk to the doctor directly. I mean, when I do follow-ups, he's the one calling me on the phone. Beforehand, we were the ones speaking with each other. Like he's involved and um he'll tell you straight up i gotta say he's not pushy in any way he's not i don't know he, he doesn't give me like bad vibes in any way whatsoever i really 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 like the doctor a lot let me just say that he works for me very well and um you can definitely ask him and and 
get questions answered and he always does these like monthly Q and A's too which is a good place to ask a question and get it answered without having to go through like a consultation. So yeah there's no specific weight that you have to be at. Um, I don't even know what weight I was before I had the surgery. They took my weight that day and I am actually living in this blissful paradise of having no idea how much I weigh and knowing that it doesn't matter. And so it's beautiful to not have to be obsessed with this number on a scale versus like, you know, I can see my body, I can see what's changing, I can, I, 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 I recognize things in myself that I don't need a scale for. And for me, that's just really helpful mentally. So that's where I'm at. And um, so I don't have a specific number for you on that. But like I said, I told you how much came out in lipo and how much came out in the actual tissue. So you can kind of go based off of that. Do you experience any fat shaming or judgment through the process? Only from you guys. Not all of you, but literally only from you guys. Everyone else in my life has been super positive, curious, you know what I mean? I mean, if they are sitting around talking junk, they're not doing it to my face. Um, but for the most part, my family is super cool and they were like, hey, you know, do you need help? I'll help you here, we'll do this, da da da. Like, I have a really, my family's dope and I love them and my boyfriend and my kids and everybody really stepped up to do what needed to be done. So um, I appreciate it. And even like my friend, she came to town, like, you know, she was out here helping me do extra stuff when she knew I couldn't quite do it. Um, so no, I haven't had any judgment. I haven't had anybody being rude and shameful to me, but I don't have that period. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't have that anyway. So it made sense that they wouldn't be rude AF about me getting a surgery done. I've had people ask if I'm getting the massages. I didn't start getting lymphatic massages until just a few weeks ago. Uh, the doctor said I really didn't need to and he didn't want me out of compression and then he said if I was going to do it that I should do it while I was in compression. I have actually done it out of compression. Oh my gosh, my series went crazy. Um, I have been doing it out of compression but um, I don't get them very often. So um, every other week at this point. Not because I don't want them because they are they feel nice afterwards but um, it just kind of helps to push the fluid out a little bit. You pee a lot more that day. Uh, but the girl that I go to, she just doesn't have availability like that. So I'm basically going every other week and it's fine. I don't need them, but they certainly don't hurt anything. Um, that seems to be the majority of the questions. It's just a lot of repeats after that. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. I know this video was probably pretty long, but I'm gonna go upstairs and just show you quickly um, some of my before and after of my outfits. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is not gonna become like a tummy tuck channel or anything like that. I'm done with the tummy tuck content at this point. Maybe I'll check in at like a year later. Uh, but I guess, you know, if you guys have any questions, by all means, leave them down below. I'll get to the ones that I can get to. Your best bet is to do it quickly because after a day or two, I don't normally check the comments because that's when people start getting really rude. And I don't need that, guys. This is like a huge thing for me and it's something that I need to get used to and it can be hard to do that without you in my brain, you know what I mean? Just me in my brain. Um, so hopefully you can respect the fact that I don't wanna like harp on all this stuff forever. Uh, but again, I do appreciate you guys, especially those of you that are being really positive about everything and just appreciating the fact that I'm giving it to you. I appreciate the fact that you are receiving it well. So let's go and try these clothes on. Okay, we're upstairs. <laughs> this is me in garments, in case you're curious. I'll take this one off. Today I have on the Skims bodysuit and then I have a pair of compression sleeves on that um, stop like right here. They kind of dig in a little bit here. This is me, this is she. This is pretty much what I walk around looking like all the time. Um, let's try on those outfits though. Okay, I actually haven't tried the shorts on in forever because it's been winter. So these are a size 18 high rise midi from American Eagle. And then I have this little crop. It's a Wild Fable XXL. So, you know, I mean, it goes on. The shorts are actually comfortable. They're obviously just like, you know, really emphasizing my belly. Uh, but overall, they are very comfy short. American Eagle, dang, my whole cheek is about to come out. Okay, so this is our before here. Okay, so these are the shorts and the little like tank situation. Um, here she is, I don't know the best way to show you. Here she is from the side. Obviously I got my arms out of the garments. Um, <laughs> cat is going nuts, scratching himself. Uh, here's how it looks from behind. Obviously, I can't see it, but you get the you get the vibe there, and then same from the side. So, um, I think you know the shorts pretty much still fit, and they fit almost the same. This just has a little bit more space here, like in the cooch, but uh, I don't think they look bad. They just look different. 
<laughs> right? I don't know. All right, this set is from Lulu's and it's an XL set. I wore it to death last summer. It's so freaking cute just obsessed with it in love with it um i would just wear it with a spank shaper panty obviously i don't have it on now for the purpose of this video but here's how she's looking beforehand i mean i think i look super cute still i would wear this still like this is real cute stuff so we'll see how it looks post up <gasps> she's doing my favorite outfit i don't think it looks bad or anything so i think this one is definitely still one that i see myself reaching for Obviously, the arms fit just fine before, so they're gonna fit just fine now. It fit fine, in my opinion, it fit fine before. I thought I looked cute in it, and you can't tell me otherwise. So, uh, the whole thing is so stretchy. I think it looks really good still from the front, right? I think from the side, it looks really good too. And then I think maybe the biggest difference is gonna be from the back, because I wanna say that you could see like my um, little rolls that were right here. I wanna say you could see them a little bit more like pronounced before, and now it's just a lot smoother back there so something about this outfit man you just at, at no point in my life can you tell me this is not cute and I don't look great in it I mean you can but it'd be rude and a lie next up we have a bodycon baby because you know I love my little bodycon dresses so this one uh, is from Nordstrom I showed it to you guys I think maybe normally I would just wear it with a little shaper panty but here she is you see my little tum tum hanging there doing its thing like I said normally I just put on a panty and it looks like that and I'm not mad at it. These are so comfortable and so cute with tennis shoes. Look at me. I know this is supposed to be like a before and after thing, but it's hard for me to not just talk about the clothes and how cute they are. <laughs> okay, I do have on um, a pair of these Spanx panties again, and I just wanted to give you a quick little update that you see all the extra like redness and stuff is gone. It was from the um, it was from the garment and stuff last time. But anyway, I just have the panty on, so you're about to see hip girl. <laughs> okay, so this is what she looks like in the body cam now. I don't, I, there's something about it, I just don't love it anymore. I mean, maybe, it, that's not true. I think I just have to get used to it, but here she is. It's just this transition from waist to hip is so intense to my eyes. Um, it's still getting some, you know, taking time to get used to it. I love this, very cute. And, oh, I had some people asking why did I just get the arm lift? Um, I didn't want it, I didn't want it. Uh, if one day I want it, I want it, but for now I don't want it. And, oh, I had people asking <laughs> if I'm gonna go back and get my legs done. Um, I, I don't know. I don't want to. Like, I really enjoy getting closer and closer to being healed, so I don't want to. <laughs> um, I, let me put it this way. Currently, I have no desire to go back to get my legs done. Let me say it like that. And by legs, I just really mean like my inner thigh area, okay? Like my, my hips are my hips and they're my hips and that's it, period. Um, but yeah, right now I have no plans to at all, not in the books. If it is one day, I'm sure I'll tell you about it. I'm not gonna do anything and try to hide it. That's not who I am. <laughs> but um, yeah, for now, it, nah, not really. So, okay, and here she is from the back. Uh, I don't know, I guess you can judge how that looks from behind here we go this is another stretchy situation this was a part of a three-piece set at wally world um obviously i don't have the third piece on it covers my arms but here she is in all her glory you can definitely see my thong through it but that's okay uh it's a lounge set for at home so i'm not tripping but let's see how she looks you know in a couple of weeks weird this is so weird this whole thing is weird to me still but i dig it i'm excited to see the differences especially once i go through it all i feel like this is going to be good for me to look at and be like look sarah i don't even know what i'm gonna say <sighs> i don't know if i'm gonna like this one either okay one thing about pants is they are going to come up higher now because there's less here to kind of like pull them down so these could like if i was really just doing it it'd be up here and that's too high right this is a little too high so I just pull them down a little bit just to kind of meet the top cute whatever um I think this looks fine but I'm kind of just trying to get used to this new physique so I don't want to be hyper critical but what other kind of critical could I be you know what I'm saying there's a reason I've waited to do this I have not tried these clothes I I have not been like Ooh, what can I fit how does this look no girl Bike shorts, big t-shirt, every day, period. Two months, strong. Bike shorts, big t-shirt. Bike shorts, big t-shirt. That's all I've been wearing. That's what I wear anyway, but just kind of as 
as the swelling goes down, as I get used to it all, you know, then I'll get more into fashion again. But for now, my shorts, my t-shirt. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful in some way to you. I know it was hella long, but live your life. This is the last you're going to get of me talking about this for probably, like I said, probably like a year. I might do a one-year check-in if it's relevant you guys care. Um, but if not, I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, I just got to reiterate it. Thanks for being awesome to like 99% of you. I really appreciate it. Putting my body through something like this and <laughs> choosing to share it and allow the world to sort of ridicule me when I'm at a place where I'm not necessarily at my most confident in this body because it's it's so new it's something to get used to um it, it was a it was I had to push myself to do it and so I do really appreciate the people that that just welcomed me with open arms like we got you honey thank you and I'm like thank you here we are kumbaya -ing. and I appreciate your partner anyway peace out I'm hot I gotta get back in these garments because <sighs> if I stay out of them girl <sighs> swelling immediately